Hey, welcome you guys to another video on Camera Vince's Photo Mechanic, the ultimate professional workflow tool. Hey, welcome back you guys. This is an addendum to the find video that I did a couple days ago. I had a couple of emails come in about the folks didn't really necessarily want the whole subdirectory tree to show up as one contact sheet. They just wanted to pick a couple of directories within the subdirectory in, in their main project directory to show as one contact sheet so that they can search that at a later date. That's also actually pretty easy. The key to this is let's go ahead and just open up your first contact sheet. So we'll go over to my current projects like we did last time and look at this lens test that I did here. So there's three images in there. Now typically I could either I could right click and say open folder and subfolders replacing the contact sheet or open folders and subfolders in a new contact sheet and it would open all 1500 images. But that was that was the key here is they they didn't want all 1500 images they just wanted um, a couple of directories say a half a dozen or even a dozen directories so how do we do that well that's pretty simple if i double click on the bugs directory it's going to give me two contact sheets and if i right click it my option is uh, limited for the subfolders again but let's go ahead and close bugs we'll leave the 180 millimeter test open and this time when we right click we're gonna say open in current contact sheet so now what that's done is, is it's taken the 180 millimeter test and the bugs images and put them into one contact sheet as you can see here so let's go ahead and shrink these down a little bit but now now that I have the, those in there let's say I want to add another subdirectory but let's say that that subdirectory is not on my laptop this current projects is on my laptop as you can see here but let's say I want to add a subdirectory from a network drive or a USB drive or what have you so I'm gonna come over here to the navigator I'm gonna scroll down to where all of my drives are mapped I'm gonna come over here to my digital images drive on my main server this is across the network and I'm gonna go ahead and expand that drive again the my library is on my laptop now we're working off of my network we're gonna put my net of a network folder right into this contact sheet so I'm gonna click on my library this is a working archive of my library and I'm gonna go find my projects and let's you know what I've got a a um, set of photos on Hank a friend of mine's horse we'll put him in there so there's Hank okay if we double click it it opens up off the network just like normal but we're going to right click it and we're going to say open in current contact sheet. Voila. Now I have the bugs, the lens test, and Hank all in one contact sheet. Okay, so now you're saying great. It's all into 180 millimeter test. Well, let's save this as a favorite so that we can call this up anytime we want to. These three directories or even at a later date add another subdirectory to this list if we want. Let's say we're creating a book, and that book is called My Book. So let's save it as My Book. Now this took me a second because I didn't really know where to look to figure this out. I tried right-clicking, that didn't work. I tried right-clicking over here, and that didn't work. But what I did was, is I found underneath File, there's this little option called Remember Folders as a Favorite. So when you click it, this dialog comes up and gives you the option to rename it. So let's call this my book. Maybe you're making a book on life out in the country. So we'll say OK. And now it adds it to the favorite as my book. So at any given time, I want to call that back. I can, I can pull up photos from my library. There's, there's my 100 millimeter test. See, it only has just the three in it. But now I can also come over here and call my book and it will collect all the photos including those on the network drive into the one contact sheet and then giving me the ability now to search just like we did in the previous um, video gives me the ability to search just this contact sheet which now is not 1500 images it's just a handful. Hope this helps and keep the emails coming if you guys have questions I'll go ahead and make little uh, videos here and there if if you'd like um, I hope this is helping you guys out talk to you later